In this video, I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to mount a Picatinny rail to your rifle. The Picatinny system is growing in popularity and there are more options than ever. So if you were considering your scope mounts, definitely take a look at Picatinny. So let's start by taking a look at the rifle. If you're in any doubt what model to go for, simply measure the hole spacing. There should be four holes on the action, so measure the distance between holes one and two, holes two and three, and three and four. If you're not sure, it's always a good idea to check the hole spacing on the rifle. For instance, the Remington 700, there's a short and a long action, and the hole spacing will tell you which rail you need for your rifle. Not all hole spacings are the same. We've got two examples here. We've got a Remington 700 and a Tika T3. As you can see, the hole spacings are completely different and the Remington action is radius, whereas the Tika T3 is flat. And you don't need vernier calipers. If you've got them, great, but you can just use a simple ruler to take this measurement. So for this Tika T3, holes one and two, 22 mil, holes two to three, 82 mil, and between holes three and four, 22 mil again. So once you're happy with all the hole space measurements, you can simply order the rail from our online store or give us a call and order it over the phone. The rail will take a day or two to come, and once you have it, you can start mounting it. And the first thing to check is the rail. Now, place this on top of the action and align the screw holes up with the action holes. And this rail is bang on, so we're good to get started. Next up, we need to clean the action where the rail is going to be sitting. So use some degreaser or alcohol based cleaner, spray it on the cloth and wipe down. This will remove any grease from the action. Now with larger calibers, or if you're using a heavy scope, such as a night vision, we would use surface to surface adhesive. Now, on this particular rifle, the Tika T3, the whole length of the action will be in contact with the rail. But you may find that it's only the two bases that are in contact with the rail. So apply the adhesive to where the rail is gonna be in contact with the rifle. So place it on the action. You've got plenty of time before it sets which gives you enough time to look at the screws and fixing them in place. Next up, we're going to be fitting our screws. We will use some thread locker on each screw. Use a small amount on each screw and start to fit them to the rifle. So tighten each screw just so you can feel them getting tight. Then make sure they're all fitted to the same level then give an eighth of a turn just to nip them up tight and secure. The thread locker will do its work and hold the screw in place and you're done. Once you're happy with that, you can then clean off any excess glue if there is any and you're finished. Check over the rifle and the mount to make sure you're happy with everything. You check the instructions on the adhesive to see how long you need to wait for it to cure. Then you're ready to mount some scope mounts to it. It's a very straightforward video to show you how simple it is to mount the Picatinny rail. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below or send us an email. Thank you for watching.